To get started with VR development, you need four things. A VR headset, a system that matches these minimum requirements, a game engine, and a software development kit, also known as SDKs. Depending on the VR headset, the game engine, and the SDK you choose, the setup might vary. In this video, I'll show you how to get started for VR development using Unity, for the MetaQuest devices using Meta's all-in-one SDK. However, if you want to set up for other OpenXR devices like HTC Vive using other SDKs like XR Interaction Toolkit, then feel free to check out the links provided in the description below. All right, so assuming you have a VR headset and you have a system that matches the minimum requirements, let's go ahead and download the Unity game engine. For that, you need to visit their website, which is unity.com and click on download. On this page, you can scroll down and download the Unity Hub for your OS. Then follow the installation prompts and install it. Next, you'll have to sign into your Unity account. Now, if you don't have one, you can create it and sign up for the free license. Then in your Unity Hub, click on installs, install editor. And here you need to install the latest version of the editor that's available for you. In my case, it's version 2022.3.28 F1 LTS version. Now remember that you should always install the long term support version because installing the preview versions might have some bug that might give you errors later on. So click on install and here if you don't have an IDE already, then you can uh, check this box for Microsoft Visual Studio and you also need the Android build support. So make sure to check these boxes as well and click on continue and update to the terms and click on install. Now, if you want to install a particular version of the Unity editor, then you'll have to visit their website and scroll all the way down till you find download archive. Click on that, click on download LTS releases. And from here, you can download any version that you'd like to install. All right, so with that, you have installed the game engine. Now it's time to create a new project and configure it. For that, you need to go inside the projects window, click on new project, select the editor version that you'd like to use and select any template of your choice. It could be 3D render pipeline, or the universal 3D render pipeline. Feel free to pause this video to check out this render feature comparison table. Now you can find the link for this in the description below. Give your project a name, choose a file location, and you can either choose to connect to Unity Cloud and use their version control, or you can choose not to and click on create project. Once you have the project open, the very first thing that you need to do is to switch the platform to Android. For that, go inside file, build settings, click on Android and switch the platform. Now doing this early on will save you a lot of recompilation time that it would have otherwise taken if you chose to switch after importing all the assets and packages. All right, now it's time to install the SDK. For that, you need to visit Unity's asset store and search for Meta all-in-one SDK. Open the asset, open it in the Unity editor and install it. While installing, it will give you a prompt asking you to restart Unity. You can go ahead and do that. Once your Unity editor reopens, you can see that the latest version of Meta SDKs have been installed. Now to set up our project, you can click on the Meta symbol at the bottom right corner and click on Project Setup Tool. Now this tool gives you a list of all the settings that have to be configured and it also gives you an option to fix them all. So go ahead and click on Fix All. Once that's done, also make sure to apply all the recommended settings as well. While the settings are getting applied, you can visit the Meta's Developer Center and sign up as a developer. You can do this easily by creating a new organization. If you don't have one, it's okay. You can just give your name. Click on I understand and submit. Next, open the Oculus app on your mobile device and open the menu. Click on Devices and select your device. Then open the headset settings and select developer modes and enable it. Now, before we jump into Unity, you can download the Meta's Link software from their website, which will let you test your Unity scene directly from the editor without having the need to build it onto your headset. Now, this will save you a lot of development time. So here we are back in Unity. You'll see that all the recommended settings have been applied. Now it's time to import some samples and test it. For that, you'll have to go back into the Unity's asset store and search for Meta XR Interaction SDK OVR samples, open it in Unity and install it. Then select samples and import the example scenes. Open the folder and open any scene that you'd like to test. While opening the scene, you'll get a prompt to import the Text Mesh Pro Essentials. Go ahead and do that. You can also import the Text Mesh Pro examples and extras as well. And now to test your scene, 
Connect your device using the link cable and open the MetaQuest link software. Click on devices and click on add headset. Now if your headset is not detected automatically, then select your headset, click on continue, select link cable, click on continue and follow the setup instructions. After that, put on your headset, go inside quick settings and launch the quest link now this will take you inside another environment where you will be able to see your desktop monitors now for some reason if you're not able to see your monitor and it looks completely black then you can fix it by checking out this video over here somewhere now once you're here you can go inside file build settings click on player settings click on xr plugin management click on the pc tab and click on oculus plugin now I forgot to do this earlier which is why we are doing it here or else you would not need to. Then let's close this, close this and now you can click on play and here you can see that I am able to test the scene right from the Unity editor. Finally you can build this onto your headset as an APK by going inside file, build settings, add the open scene, click on build and run. Let's create a new folder called as builds and inside here you can give your APK a name and click on save. When you build this for the first time, it's going to take some time for the build to get completed. But the subsequent builds are going to be much faster. Once your build is completed, it's going to run automatically on your headset and you can test it here as well. And if you're satisfied with the application, you can go inside the project folder, go inside builds and you can share this APK with others. Alright, so now you are ready for VR development and what are the next step? You can start to build your own application from scratch by checking out the playlist linked somewhere on this screen. If you found this video to be helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.